friends, my name is Kyla, and today, as of recording this, it is November 1st, which means it is National Scented Candle Day. And in celebration of that, I have a box of Bath & Body Works candles that I will be opening and showing you today what I got from their most recent sale. Bath & Body Works Online recently had a sale for single wick candles where each one was $5.99, which is a huge sale because they're usually $15.50 each or two for $22. I prefer single wick candles because I like to burn through the whole candle so I can change to the next scent. I always want a new scent going and I always have a candle burning. The reason why I got Bath & Body Works candles this time was because there was such a huge sale. Like $6 per candle is amazing. I will burn any scent of candle any time of the year. So even if I got a lot of fall or winter scents, I will burn them the whole year round. So I think this was a pretty good deal for me. Some scents I chose because I thought I would love them. Some I chose because I thought Dennis would love them. And some I thought both of us would love. They'll be in here too. Like I said, I always have a candle burning. And right now I've been using this summer camp candle from Royalty Candles on Instagram. And it smells so good, like fire and marshmallows. I'll link royalty candles in the, in the description box below. Okay, now on to the haul. Here are the candles that I got. So the first candle in the box was Midnight Amber Glow, which is not a scent I have ever smelled before, but I know it's a popular scent in Bath & Body Works right now. So I thought I'd give it a shot. The candle has notes of smooth amber, caramel latte, vanilla bourbon with essential oils. That sounds like my type of candle. Just smelling the candle, it's not very strong. I thought it would have a stronger scent to it. I think I mostly smell the vanilla bourbon. Oh, maybe the smooth amber too. Just by smelling it, I don't smell the caramel latte, which I'm really disappointed about. I love all types of scents, but caramel scents and latte scents are some of my absolute favorite. Okay, the next one I got is strawberry pound cake, which the label is all folded funny. I got this scent because this is Dennis's favorite scent and we've been going through a lot of strawberry pound cake soap and body wash and hand sanitizers. We've had the candle before um, a while ago. We had the candle I think a long time ago. So this one's notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Yeah that's that smells exactly like the soap that we use in the body wash. Oh my gosh. You really cannot go wrong with strawberry pound cake. It smells incredible. Okay, next we have Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, which is the body wash, the, the shower gel that I am currently using from Bath & Body Works in our shower. That smells so good. With the waffle, I can smell the pumpkin, the pecans, and the waffles. But in the body wash, I could mostly just smell like maple pecan waffles. I don't really smell much pumpkin. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Yeah, in the candle, I can smell all of those things. In the shower, I don't really smell the pumpkin very much. Pumpkin is some of my favorite scents. Okay, this next one is Cactus Blossom. I've had this one before too. It smells of cactus flower petals, fresh citrus, and vanilla coconut. Oh my gosh, that one's even better than I remember. I just, I didn't remember what this one smelled like besides that I absolutely loved it. Oh my gosh. That one's, this one's my favorite so far from this haul. Okay, the next one we have Sugared Snickerdoodle. And this candle is more of an orange tan color compared to all the other white ones. And its notes are warm spices, creamy vanilla, sugared musk. The notes of this one are warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. Ooh. This one actually reminds me of what, this one takes me back to when I was a kid and my mom would used to have these wallflowers. I swear they had one that smelled just like this. That scent brings back memories. I'm excited to burn this one. Okay, the next one is Strawberry Snowflakes. The cute little box in the packaging. The notes for this one are juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. This one smells so good. I can really smell both the strawberries and the bergamot. I think the whipped cream too. It's very different than the strawberry pound cake. They have very different notes, I feel like. They have very different scents. I bought this one since I thought it'd be close to strawberry pound cake and Dennis and I both love strawberry pound cake. Okay, this one's A Thousand Wishes. I used to have the fine fragrance mist of A Thousand Wishes and I remember it smelled so good. I also have the mini pocket back of it. I can't remember what it smells like though. What are the notes? The notes are pink prosecco, sparkling quince, crystal peonies, gilded amber, and amaretto cream. That's quite the combination there. That smells incredible. This smells exactly like, the, I forgot what it smelled like, but this smells exactly like how I remember. That smell just came straight back to my memory. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This one's so good. Oh my gosh. 
I'm so excited to burn this one. I used to wear the body mists, the fine fragrance mists from Bath and Body Works a lot when I was in high school and a little bit in college, mostly just in high school. But I stopped wearing them because I noticed I was allergic to some of them. And I don't even know which ones because I would change up my scent every day. I didn't know which ones I was allergic to. I remember I was definitely allergic to Vanilla Bean Noel back when I was in high school. So I, if they changed the combination, then I might not be allergic to it anymore. And I can't remember if I was allergic to a thousand wishes. I also notice I'm allergic to a lot of like the lotions. I don't think I'm, I've not ever experienced an allergic reaction to any of the candles, so I can get any scent of those. Oh my gosh. I think what I love so much about this one is the crystal peonies mixed with the Prosecco. Okay, I'm in love. I'm in love with this one so much. Next one is flannel and it came with the blue. This one has the Mouse King on it from the Nutcracker, which was partially why I chose to buy this one. That's, flannel to me smells like a very masculine scent, like a kind of a cologne scent. And I love candles that smell like that. Like mahogany teakwood from Bath and Body Works. I had burning while I was playing the quarry and now I associate that like cologne scent with the quarry. Oh my gosh, this one smells. I was thinking about giving this one to my mom because she likes, she loves the Nutcracker and this is the Mouse King. But I don't think this is a scent that she would like. What does flannel smell like? Fresh bergamot, heirloom ma mahogany, that's why I thought of mahogany teakwood and soft musk. Yeah, very, very much of a masculine scent. I love it. Ooh, this one's the Twas the Night Before Christmas. Its notes are its notes are Santa's fresh baked cookies, a warm mug of milk, and dashes of cinnamon and nutmeg. Interesting the candle's blue for that. Oh my goodness. This also takes me back to those wallflowers that my mom and grandma used to have. The, the vanilla, the fresh baked cookies, the uh, the gourmand scents. Oh, that one smells really good. I'm gonna try this one next to the thicker doodle one. They're very different. They're definitely, they're really different. Actually, this one just took me back to the ballet school I used to take lessons at for some reason. So even though both of these scents, the sugared snickerdoodle or twas night for christmas even though they both have like the same gourmand type smell with the vanilla or the cookies they both remind me of those wallflowers okay this one's caramel pumpkin swirl i love pumpkin and i love caramel scents i hate real caramel like the taste of caramel but caramel scented things are my absolute favorite mixed with pumpkin of course <sighs> yeah that's definitely caramel and pumpkin. What are the notes? Luscious caramel, ground cinnamon, rich brown sugar, and creamy vanilla. It doesn't mention pumpkin. It definitely smells like pumpkin to me though. Very caramel. Okay, snowflakes and cashmere. So this smells like the notes are vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, frosted clementine. I hope it smells like the Bath and Body Works scent from years ago when I was in high school. They had this scent called Be Joyful. Um, one year, I think maybe 2016, 2017, and that scent is absolutely incredible. I still have the fine fragrance mist. I never used it all because I don't know if I'm allergic to that one. I hope it smells like that. It really smells similar. It's very, it's not the same. Also, it's a nice purple color. It's not the same, but it smells similar to Be Joyful. It's the closest thing I've smelled since smelling Be Joyful. I think it's the clementine. I'm pretty sure there was clementine in Be Joyful. The serotonin I get from smelling candles. This one's got really pretty packaging too. Oh, moving right along, we have Welcome Home. This is a fall scent. Oh, the packaging is textured. It's got acorns on it, cinnamon sugar, warm apple butter, clove buds, and brown sugar. I was really contemplating whether or not to buy this. I was kept reading the scent online. Oh, they say I can't open it, I guess. Oh my gosh, okay. I think this is the first one I haven't really liked. I think it's the, both the cinnamon and the clove. I don't, I don't like this one. <laughs> no, I keep smelling it and it doesn't, doesn't really get any better. Oh, well, I bought them online, so it's a gamble. I like most types of scents. Like I love fruity scents and I love floral scents, especially like gardenia, blueberries and strawberries and watermelon, pineapple scents, coconut. Oh my gosh, I love coconut. Yes, regular cinnamon I'm not a big fan of. Actually, that might be the clove that's throwing me off of this one. And I love more cologne more masculine scents and like teak wood and sandalwood. I love like wood smells. I feel like of scents, I, I love more scents than I do flavors. Like I love the scent of caramel and I love the scent of coconuts. 
Um, but I don't really like eating caramel or coconut. I think of something that I love eating that I don't really love the scent of is chocolate. Uh, Dennis likes chocolate, so there should be a chocolate one coming up. I don't mind the smell of chocolate. I think the only things I really don't like the smell of, I think the smells that I'm not a really big fan of are like cherry or I guess clove. I really don't like the taste of clove either. I think cherry and clove about covers it. I'm not like the biggest fan of like pine or like Christmas tree scents, fir tree scents, but pretty much everything else I like. I think I don't like this one because of the clove. Maybe it is the cinnamon. I oh, I pretty much will buy any candle that I think will smell good, but I usually stay away from Christmas tree scents and cinnamon scents, but not like snickerdoodle, like cinnamon cookie scents, more like, or pie scents. I love pie scents, but like just if it smells like cinnamon, like hot cinnamon, I don't want that. Okay, this is what I, I thought this one was gonna be next, funny enough. So this is hot cocoa and cream. This sounds like definitely something that Dennis would love. Decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows. Ooh, that smells exact. That smells exactly like Swiss Miss hot chocolate with marshmallows. That's crazy how they can get the scent so spot on. This makes me wonder about how candles are made, how candle scents are made. Do people who make candles inside scents mix things together and are like, oh, this smells exactly like blank. And then they're like, that's what we'll call it. Or do they purposely say, I am going to make a hot chocolate mini marshmallows. I want to smell exactly like Swiss Miss because if that's what they did, they got a spot on. Mm. Oh my gosh, yum. Into the Night. This one has a lot of different products from Bath & Body Works and it seemed popular, so, or they seem to be really promoting it, so I guess I imagined it was popular. So let's see what it smells like. Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. I'm a little nervous. I'm not sure what makes me nervous. I think it's the Raspberry Noir. Yeah, I, I like amber. I don't mind rose. I don't know what patchouli is, but mocha sounds incredible. I just said I wasn't the biggest fan of chocolate, but mocha though. Anything like a, a coffee scent? If I had to choose my favorite scents, I think my favorite scents are like coffee, like latte scents or coconut scents. Vanilla scents are really good too, but they're also kind of plain. Caramel scents, I love caramel. So I guess I really like gourmand scents. Without further ado, it's time to smell this one. Into the night. Well, that smells amazing. There was nothing to worry about this. Gosh, it's just the, the pure happiness and joy that just enters my body when I smell candles. Love it. So those were the 14 candles that I got from this particular haul, but I also have some other Bath & Body Works candles that I've had from probably earlier this year. Maybe, maybe some from last year that I'll be just including because I haven't burned them yet. Okay, so this one's the Sugar Plum Fairy. This one's definitely from this year too. I did buy this one very recently because I saw that and thought of my mom. I think I'm gonna give this one to her. I don't know if this would be her type of scent though. Well, maybe. I should give it a sense of floral in there. Maybe, no, no, it's not. It's orange, I thought. Orange is floral. Okay. So the notes are sweet sugar plum, candied cranberries, and sugared orange. That's what I don't think she'd like. I don't think she'd like the orange. Maybe I won't give this one to her. I'll offer it perhaps. And if she likes it, she can have it. If not, I will burn it. Okay, this one's strawberry maple waffles. More strawberry. We've had strawberry snowflakes, strawberry pound cake, strawberry maple waffles. You can't go wrong with strawberry. It's such a good scent. Dennis loves it. I love it. This one is very much strawberry and maple. Very maple. This one's got cute little strawberries on the packaging. Okay, this one is from the summer 2021. Berry Waffle Cone. I bought this one recently. There was a sale on like fall and summer products online. So I bought this for half off. Well, it's probably more than half off. There's no way I paid $7 for this. I definitely get Waffle Cone. Sweet Summer Berries, Golden Waffle Cone, Creamy Vanilla. Okay, I do get the berries. I took a deep, <laughs> deep inhale. I smell, I smell the berries. Okay, yeah, now I'm definitely getting berries. I was just getting Waffle Cone at first. I was like, I mean, that smells, smells good, I guess, but I was hoping for berry. Okay, this one's vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Pumpkin scent, I'm gonna love it. Very pumpkin and marshmallow. I mostly get vanilla marshmallow. Yeah, I wouldn't say berry pumpkin at all. I'm not sure why I said that. It's vanilla marshmallow is what I'm getting. With notes of Tahitian vanilla, pumpkin spice, homemade marshmallow caramel drizzle. Drizzled caramel. Why am I not picking up caramel? I love caramel. I just smell vanilla marshmallow. This one is from this year. Oh, wait. Oh, this berry waffle cone actually was from 2021, not, not 2022. This one is from 2022. Dream Bright to Christmas scent, sapphire berries, and night blooming orchid and crystallized vanilla. There's a lot of vanilla notes in these. Uh, my favorite flower scents are probably, 
My favorite flower scents are probably definitely white gardenia. I love white gardenia. Orchid scents and peony scents. Yeah, this one does not smell like Christmas at all. And I absolutely love this candle. Berry and orchid. I'm really smelling orchid. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is the type of candle that Dennis would like, but I love this type of candle. Okay, and last but not least, 20 can 19 candles, 20 candles later, we have Old Fashioned Cider Donut. This one is from this year. It's from, it's just from this year. This one's got apples along the bottom. I got this one in a sale too. I never buy full price candles from Bath and Body Works. I purposely buy them when there is a sale, like the 595, 595 per candle. It's fantastic. Yeah, I smell like an apple donut, maybe an apple fritter. Old fashioned cake donut, baked apple, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Yes, I love that I could smell the apple in here mixed with the donut. Yum. Yum, that smells amazing. So of all of these candles, which I will be burning through all of them because I love candles so much, but I also might be giving some of these away to my friends and family because why not spread the joy? But of all of these candles, the one I'm so excited to go back and smell again is a thousand wishes. Oh, I wonder if this is one of the scent sprays that I'm allergic to because I love this scent so much. Oh my gosh. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate it so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. Just incredible. Wow.